live from a chilly Austin. Yeah, who are we kidding? It's Halloween, so you know it's going to be a great night. Now, sort all of your kids' candy. Because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man. This morning, I woke up with so many razor blades, and instead, i am uh, they're all gone because I gave them the kids. Early? <laughs> yep. Uh, I, I, uh, 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 hey man, why aren't you even dressed up for Halloween? Uh, well, number one, I hope everybody understands that these are not piss stains. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what, on wait, my wait, pants. Wait. These, these ain't got wait. nothing to do with piss. Wait, wait. These are... Built like this on the pants. They're calicocutpants.com. <laughs> They're made like this. They ain't got nothing to do with piss, Brian. It does look an awful lot they like... They ain't got nothing to do with piss. It does look... These are how they're made. This is an awful lot like you maybe peed yourself a little while you're no. going to the uh-uh. wee-wee room. No, look. Look. Bryce has it up. Go to calicocutpants.com. He's he's right. They have options: surf and turf pants, slim fit, freaking freaking state chino. Like well, yeah, good they, ones. yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. Th- yeah. these you are just give. a bunch of male models give. who piss here's, themselves. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Brad. <sighs> Look, there are no such thing as calico cut pants. What? No. It's a website. What? And when you go there, it says they're all sold out. Yeah. But you got to give. Wait, ho, wait a minute. Are, Brian, are, a lot of people give. So you're saying. A lot of. Brian, you got to give. The guy who runs it, he's losing his ass on this site. Oh, no. You got to give. <laughs> so You got to give. It sounds to. Hold the door. Hold the door. <laughs> It sounds to me like these are an amazing pair of pants to have, or at least an amazing website to point to in case you, I'm not saying this happened, accidentally pissed yourself a little bit. I'll, uh, I'll, 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 t- I'll tell you what it is. It's an amazingly obscure joke from I Think You Should Leave that uh, we found <laughs> out uh, the hard way we had to explain at the bar we go to before the show. And literally because nobody got it. Nobody. <laughs> It turns out we like that show a lot more than a lot of other people because I showed up. Brian immediately fell down laughing uh, <laughs> because he found it so funny, and that's been the extent of people that have immediately gotten the bit. I mean, so uh, it, it, uh, uh, that that is the case for anybody that is watching live on YouTube. Then uh, 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 thank you. You gotta give. You gotta give. <sighs> Justin. Yeah. Uh, I'm really sorry that nobody got the joke that you dressed up as. Okay. Luckily, you're the only person on this program Uh who who has fucked up and dressed up as the wrong person. Yeah. Because now, for an audio podcast, Brian is going to do the driving crooner, also from I Think You Should Leave, this one from season three. (laughs) He is holding up a car door and <laughs> doing <laughs> the uh, the driving crooner. You gotta look forward. Look forward. You yeah, you gotta look forward. Fuck! Fuck! I gotta figure out how to make money on this. <laughs> That's a different. Sc- <laughs> oh. So there we go. Sorry, I, 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 I <laughs> They keep fucking it up. They keep shifting to the wrong camera, so it fucks it up. <laughs> Always tried. They're trying to grab the D. Deca- Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Watch greatnight.com He's as I think the website. He's driving again. I hope ICU has I, a field we, no, day. No, no, no. We have franchises. I think. I think Brett would be a great driving crooner. Well, here's uh, Brett is uh, uh, a disheveled clown. Here, let's let's go to Brett. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Brett, what happened to you, buddy? What's going on? My name's not Brett. What is your name? My name is Dan. Dan? Yeah. I'm uh, Jessica Calvello's fourth ex-husband. 
I'm a clown, and uh, I had a hard night. Uh, I'm just recovering, and, you know, just, just what I'm going through right now, man. This is an amazing character study. And for for audio listeners, Brian has continued to drive in crooner throughout all of it. Yeah. Which says a lot about Brian's ability to let other people have attention. But <laughs> uh, I, 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 also, I, I I gotta say that that for somebody who fake pissed his pants as a costume, uh uh, uh I guess this is just my coupon to play. I have no idea what's happening right now. Uh, you know, uh, some people just put on a costume. I, Brett, did you make a very specific costume for one of your friends? Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly what I did. So this is not a costume for which anyone should get. No. It's just, you have it, done a Halloween it, costume yes. for your friend making fun of her ex-boyfriend or no. ex-husband? No, it was just a character we came up with together. So it's yeah. not oh, it's not even a drag on a real person. No. It's just if your it's friend It's even had, more obscure. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. We thought that we had settled on the look, mainstream it, idea look, that you more, were making fun of your friend's this. ex-husband. There's there's more to this. Okay. <laughs> You need more time Do to we make. Need, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Do we need to also have a friendship with your friend to get this? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my okay. god! <laughs> but you just want to do it for us for no fucking reason. So look, the reason why Jessica and Dan, who's me, divorced, was because she has she had a clown fetish, and she thought that Dan had size thirteen feet, but he, but he but he only has. Uh, Size nine and a half, so that's what happened. I, I just want to point out that for the majority of that, Brian stopped driving crooner in yeah. <laughs> and then picked up. Yep. But now he's back. He yep. waited, he waited until you were about to be done speaking. But just so you know, that bored him to yep. the point where he put it down. <laughs> you know, not all Halloween costumes are for other people, sometimes <laughs> they're just for ourselves. <laughs> Bryce, <laughs> what you, the, what thing, you, the thing about it is you're such a good fucking actor that I'm into it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm offended by the idea that you would do an inside joke on the show when it's not an inside joke for any of us. Like, like, like you couldn't do an inside joke for for any of our <laughs> any of our bits. Uh, but also, you're an exceptional and compelling actor, and uh, uh, you you are doing a great job as a totally broken cloud. I wish I wish uh, Jessica would have appreciated that. Thanks. She, oh, because she's not even here. This she <laughs> this entire moment right now between Brett and Brian is just you could write. An entire book on masculinity. Oh, a whole thesis. An entire... Just just between the two of them. Like, this is shocking. Uh, Bryce, first stop it. God damn it, what about my costume? Oh, <laughs> Bryce, say? Bryce, who are Bryce, you? what are you dressed as? God damn it, I'm Logan Roy, god damn it. No, you gotta have the glasses. You gotta be like, like putting them like on and off. There we go. God, yeah. God damn it! I'm Logan. Logan, Logan Roar. God damn it! Yeah. Damn well, it. And yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Catchphrase. Okay, okay. You gotta do the catchphrase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Daddy's number one candy baby. That's, That's not, not the catchphrase. No. This is the moment I just realized that Bryce doesn't know Logan Roy's catchphrase. God damn it! I'm Logan Roy, and I'm going to Roy the world. It gets better every time you're wrong. <laughs> no, I, right, I, for I, real. I, I, say, say the catchphrase. God, God damn it. 
<laughs> okay, it's very clear that you think his catchphrase is "God damn it." <laughs> I'm gonna let you know as a friend, it's not "God damn it." Oh, okay, thank, thank you for that note. That's very helpful. I'm there is to... there is a a phrase Chat that realm, he do is not famous help him out. for. <laughs> you let him. He is famous for. So just go ahead and say the famous catchphrase. <laughs> Logan Roy and go. Yeah. Uh. uh yeah. Jeff, 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 uh, God damn it, fuck! Jeff, <laughs> the fucking fuck! God damn <laughs> Chat room, I swear to God, don't you give him one hand. <laughs> In my head, all day, when I've been preparing for this, I've been channeling, just do Cartman. Just do Cartman's voice and it'll come out just fine enough. <laughs> That's why I'm stuck on God damn it. that's my goddamn pot pie! <laughs> Is it? Rice, what's it's... our first <laughs> topic? <laughs> Okay, here's the result. Fooled! Halloween edition. Oh, shit. <laughs> we have... I, th I, I, th I think the know. first I time that I wanted to do uh, is Brian Fooled. I don't know what happened, whether I was gone or I was sick or something like that. But, uh, Brian... I sent you guys a video that I thought was very funny. Yes. Uh, and you had to explain it to your wife. Yes. And uh, we're eventually going to get to the part whether or not I was mm. fooled. But 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 it turns out that explaining a thing to my wife requires context. Uh, and, and as many of you guys know, for what, seven, eight years, I think ever since Bryce has been here, Around Halloween, we talk about Comedy Bang Bang's video of the monster fuck. Yes. It's uh, their very, very obscene version of the Monster Mash. Which, by the way, is a shitty song, and it deserves to be shit upon by Comedy Bang Bang, right? I mean, it's a classic for a reason. Eh. You're, you're, this is, you're not making up another argument. You gotta guess. You're setting up a bit. Bryce. Hi. Would you play... Thank God damn it. So, here's the scene this morning, and I want to take everybody on a journey. This morning, I need to explain just how funny the thing that Justin sent us was. And it begins with, well, you have to understand this song, yeah. which is the monster fuck, yes. which sounds a little something like... Uh, Jesus Christ, Bryce! Uh, I'm I'm sorry. Well, you, I had you, the you, other you, thing. You, you did, uh, yeah. You you, you did you well, did give I, him I, a, I, a full five seconds of the day. That's my original uh, concert. Where is that? It's a little better. Began. I was working in the lab yeah, course, late up. one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly. To my surprise, his trousers dropped right to the floor. With his bottom bare, he ran to the door. I said, Frankenstein, what's gotten into you? He said, my dick is hard and I need to screw. He did the fuck. <laughs> he did the, the monster, monster fuck. fuck. The monster fuck. It was okay, a great so yard. this Fuck. morning, uh, 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 leave it playing as long as it doesn't violate copyright stuff. But this morning, I'm trying to explain because I have to set up your your bit that that uh, uh, hey Bonnie, there's this thing. Take yeah. a listen. I have one earbud. She has the other. Calliope, our ten year old daughter, is who in the it room. would not be appropriate for her to hear the lyrics. Correct. Who boy did Bonnie not like this song? No. She's not uh, a fan of the crude humor of uh, that, that this uh, song is a stock and trade. Specifically, there's no sophistication to the song. Which is the point. Which is the joke. Because right. it has all the sophistication of the Monster Mash, which is None. very much, <laughs> yes, like, like, like there to just trade off the ideas that there were dance songs in the 60s. That's what the Monster Mash is about. This is just... That, but fucking. So imagine you're Calliope, 10 years old, and yeah. your parents say, there's a secret thing you must know. Yeah. And they share earbuds, and you watch your dad grinning wider and wider, and you watch your mom Brown. more and more yeah. disappointed in the your, fa dad. your father. Yeah. Right? And, and, and she goes, and she just says, it's so basic. 
And I say, that's the point. It gets better. Because it does get more and more basic. Graphic, like, yes. Like, like, it gets like, more graphic. Like, yeah. uh, 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 Bryce, Skip are we able ahead to a little bit to see how to graphic end. it yeah. gets. They did the monster fuck. Oh, but Frankenstein's bride was the biggest slut. Dracula got balls deep in her butt. She got titty fucked by a giant spider. Jizz made the streaks in her hair much whiter. She fucked every monster, come one, come all. Her three holes were filled like a bowling ball. And while monsters all fucked his undead bride, Frankenstein just jacked off and cried. <laughs> Alright, so so around this time, Bonnie is Hold on, can I can I pause here? Let me just give you guys, uh <laughs> listeners, a general concept. Uh some people when they are giving you a YouTube video or a song to listen to will have mercy. And if you are not delighting in it, they will pull the cord. Brian is not one of those people. <laughs> Uh, Brian He's the most sadistic like, no, meme no, no, sharer. No, 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 no. You're going to delight in it by the end. He he will just watch you watch or listen to a thing for as long as it takes. Uh, and constantly I'm coaching her. I'm like, you're almost there. You're almost there. The payoff <laughs> oh, is worth no. it. I swear. And uh, so it ends, and Bonnie perceives, rightly from her point yeah. of view. That it did not pay off. That's a really long way to say she didn't like it. She just didn't like it. <laughs> uh, semantics. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> but, but then I say, now I want to show you what Justin sent me. And it's a TikTok video. Boy, part of me wants just to, wants to adopt the cadence of <laughs> Monster Mash. <laughs> just like, then I want to show you. But, but then he did it. So, okay. uh, All right. <laughs> Uh, uh, so I sent this video I believe it was entitled They played the wrong Monster Mash song uh, It is uh, what I would describe As a middle school Track meet uh, No it's horses It's like a horse oh, Horses. Okay it is some kind of uh, a dressage uh, So here we go uh, That That is the visual Let's play the audio So that, it is. It is monster fuck that is cut off, and there are audible. Ooh, but that brings us for the first time that I've been here yeah. for my favorite game, <laughs> Bryce. We have a theme song, right, Brian? Are you fooled or are you not fooled? I'm not fooled. Hey! Is Brian fooled? Because you were certainly not fooled when you played it for your wife. But when we did this in the pre-show meeting, one Bryce Neshkom Castillo had the following reaction. That shit's fake. Now, Brian, there are a few things. I, I, I think people would rather call you a million Different names than fooled. And yet, Bryce called you an out and out mark ass buster bitch. A baby buster bitch <laughs> fooled by common hokum. What do you say to that, Brian? It had honestly not occurred to me that that was fake until Bryce spoke in our pre production. Meeting. So you're just going to be led around by the collar by Bryce? Whatever Bryce says is real. If Bryce jumped off a bridge, would you jump off one too? Are you, are you asking me for like a definitive decision? I'm asking, yes. Are you fooled or are you not? So you, you did not consider it until Bryce said it. But now that Bryce has said it, what is I your thought? I did not realize I was on trial. So I'm going to need a moment to think. He's doing more of the driving crooner bit because that's what everybody was asking for. <laughs> this is this is a silent bit that no one <laughs> uh, could be. I mean, it's uh, 
you don't run into the monster fuck. You have to find it. the video that I I pulled up had a minute and a half of Leo Carpazzi doing his whole spiel. You couldn't walk into it thinking anything other than it's called the monster fuck. I'm well, no, 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 no. But I think like the idea might be somebody was playing a prank. And it's going to take them a few uh, seconds to get into it because it sounds enough like the Monster Mash for, for there to be that moment, a moment for which they might record. It doesn't seem to me an inconceivable prank. Not but, impossible. But, <clears throat> like a junior in high school, I could totally imagine like, like just planting a hand grenade and knowing that years later somebody's going to play it, right? Uh, retitle Monster Fuck into monster mash dot mp3 yeah so that later as horses go by <laughs> now now in the favor of fake everything stays on what would otherwise be just the video of horses walking around a track uh there's no turn of the camera to see parents shocked or no something one like on that. the horses even notices the mute seem to react to the music at no. all so here we go. Uh, uh, Brian, are you fool? He's still doing the fucking bit. It's like he's going to the salt mines. Just I keep doing the bit in the, the last gonna show. I mean, uh, first of all, that's the only way it's funny is if you keep doing the bit until finally somebody looks at you. Also, you decided our house cameras, is a, there's four cameras on us right now. Our house is a goddamn war zone now. Like, like, like uh, a 10 year old who's hip to the crooner game. Cannot stop doing it. And it's a shame. It's like Frankenstein fisting uh, Wolfman's ass. Whatever. Uh, uh, you chose to do the... Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you fooled? Or are you fooled? Uh, uh, are, are, do you believe that this is a real video? I think it was a real video. Because if you were going to fool someone, you would actually make it with children dressed in costumes. I I believe, I would like to believe that some high schooler pulled a scheme yep. late in the lab one night. Okay, and it. we're done. Okay. All right, oh, Brian, all right. Is, Brian is not, or no, he, he is, is fooled. He is fooled. Possibly fooled. Is, if it's fake, do we, do we know? After Leo Carpazzi first recorded the... So apparently... Uh, okay, so I found this in the, in the Reddit thread that has it. If you look for the original Monster Mash, there is a semi-popular video, about a million views, from Funny or Die, only titled the original Monster Mash, but it does still have, like, narration and stuff ahead of it. Well, let's hear how it sounds. Was working in oh, that's Dick Wiker too. That's him. Okay. Yeah. Well, keep going. No, we. You just turn around to someone else's. From his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, his trousers dropped right to the floor. <laughs> With this bottom I kinda, bear, he ran to the door. I wish they hadn't made a music video. This is funny. This is too funny. This is funnier than us. He said, "My dick is hard, and I need to screw." <laughs> There we go. Thank you to Nick Weiger. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, uh, now wait, hold on, Bryce. Are you are you buying this? I, I think it's plausible. I still don't. I'm still not fooled. I'm gonna say. All right. Well, Brian is fooled, and that's all that matters. Next topic. Our next topic. Vegas. Let us see. Yeah, I guess, uh, uh, I don't know if you've been following local Vegas news. As I a little always bit. Do. I mean, that's normally the beat of one of our other favorite podcasts. Um, uh -huh. One of the things we talked about when we decided to send Bryce out to go see a fun. Young Bryce, yeah. Is that they were actively blocking off the view. Any and all views. Yeah. Huh? That were not paid for. You know what happens Vegas. when you try to keep the people down i don't know what i was working in the lab <laughs> sorry no i what they do is they vandalize the the things and they start tearing down the blockade <laughs> so so on one of the pedestrian bridges they had put up this white vinyl film uh as a means to discourage people from standing on the on the bridgeway and watch the race 
uh, and people have started tearing it off, and it's uh, been removed. I, to my understanding, I believe it's completely been removed again. Um, but uh, how, how do we respond to this? I think we should send Bryce <laughs> to investigate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bryce, what do you think? I I certainly would be the best candidate since I will be there. Oh. Um, <laughs> shit, yeah, maybe I'll we already the- did it. Wait a minute. Maybe my sub costume is Memento Guy. <laughs> <laughs> send you sent Bryce to Vegas. <laughs> Brian keeps Holy doing shit. the crooner bit. <laughs> that would be amazing. Brett's costume doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I Oh, it's 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 bad. It's tough to look at, Brett. Sorry. That's a very successful costume. All right. <laughs> so uh, like if, no I mean, the, the thing that's frustrating about it yeah. is that it looks you are doing such a good job at it that i'm assuming it's a, a reference a i should thing. get oh it's authentic oh my god god you should consider this as a character this is a really good character uh uh anyway so, so uh, uh, uh bryce wait that that means that it seems like Vegas life is finding a way, and, and you might be able to just find your way onto one of these bridges and watch the race. Maybe. Though when it comes to the bridges on race time, they're usually pretty active about, like, keep moving, don't stop, don't stand here, because it's dangerous. You can't be... What do you mean bridges on race day? Like, they ain't never happened there. But, but like, on other tracks where they have wa- pedestrian walkways, you know, they don't let you just stand there. Oh, they're going to have five Belgians? Uh, like this yeah. is F one. <laughs> they bring the same Belgians to be like, move along, move along, go, go, please move. Mm-hmm. You can, you can bully these dudes, right? <laughs> I mean, You're an American, do what you want. That's my Give right. Give some sass. That's my birthright. <laughs> Spray paint them like Bart Simpson. Like just do something American. Oh, that would be maybe fun. you should use that famous Logan Roy catchphrase. <laughs> What? You, you, you know what? I think that's the best idea. I just can't remember no, what it was. What is that Logan Roy catchphrase? You know, the famous one. The one yeah. that he says from episode one on forward. Yeah, which is that? God, uh, God damn it. I'm, I'm Logan Roy. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you fucking God damn it. There's my M&M's. You keep referencing. You're referencing that someone else. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, I'm an M. For all the moments that you sit there on your throne and criticize us for just being like, oh, I guess we're just gonna watch a fucking YouTube video, <laughs> and the only thing you can think of is a video parodying Succession. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> I'm know. Logan Roy. I'm Logan Roy. God oh, damn it! Fuck! I'm Logan fuck. Roy. Fuck. You know what? We maybe all of us should cosplay as the rest of the characters. Uh, oh, jeez! I guess I'll just suck a dick. It's me, Kieran Culkin. I was working in the lab <laughs> late one this. night when the Succession <laughs> cast had an awful fright. Uh, all right, Bryce. Next up. Next up. Queen candy. <laughs> We've got uh, it's, Queen. It's uh, trick or treat time. We've got some candy here. Uh, Annalisa brought uh, a, a, a little uh, contingency of treats, and there was something oh, in there candy. I had never seen before. If you look up on the uh, on that table on that TV oh. stand there, you got a little uh, coffin. Inside of that is a uh, uh, is a few treats, um, and also can dark chocolate design. It says oh, unrelated, here. unrelated box. Just a very oh unrelated box. box. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh Brian here, look at this. Okay. And Brian, what is this? Uh well it says here World's Best Popcorn Ball. Now Damn it, I'm it, Logan Roy. God damn it, I'm Logan Roy, my popcorn futures. I don't know what a popcorn ball is. Can someone toss me one? Have you ever seen Succession? I've yes, I have. God okay. damn it. All right. <laughs> you you have bitch. seen all right, just ask. Motherfucker. Right, so oh shit. All right, so I've opened up the popcorn balls. Some popcorn has fallen out. But basically it is all uh 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 glued popcorn? together with, with um it's a bunch of popcorn glued together with uh sugar. Oh, is it like a Rice Krispie treat type of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Go on. It's made with marshmallows. 
What is that? Uh, so you gotta get you gotta get a taste. Who, it's got it's got a crispy taste. It's who, a good it's a good taste. Who's who sent this? Annalisa found these. Um and and uh we're trying them. My fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's we're the bit that you suggested them. and we're doing. Somebody found these and we're trying them. Yeah. Usually doesn't end with the people eating the thing thrilled <laughs> with what they're eating. I don't know. It's I don't okay. know. Don't I'm like it. I only picked it because I don't know what it is. I like it. (laughs) (laughs) It's one of those things that I always figured was like, like you get an apple or you get a popcorn ball Mm. or you get like a toothbrush. It's like that's the. Why are you opening all of them? A third one. So I can get three of them and try to juggle. Of course. Another Uh-oh. fantastic audio. Oh. He has nope. dropped all of them on the ground immediately. <laughs> Turns out, right Turns out. out I can't. <laughs> Bryce, I never have wanted instant replay more <laughs> than Brian's juggling attempt that ended as fast as it started. <laughs> there was not even a single catch. But how? It just was Ryan... Doing the fancy version of throwing shit on the floor. I'm telling Circus Circus on you. <laughs> How great would it have been if I was able to juggle them? That is what happened. You don't get brownie points for something you didn't do. No. No, don't be doing that. Hey, what if I did it though? And then, and then your, your, then your dick got sucked. Wouldn't that be great? Like, come on, man. You don't need to get to say that. Hey, yo, Brian. Hey, I'm just saying. Brian, you know, uh, some clowns can juggle. <laughs> we, yeah. Can you? I mean, Dan. Now the character is so good, I resent it again. Because <laughs> I want to be able to interact with it, but I don't know your inside jokes with your friend. <laughs> now, <laughs> for the record, the friend isn't here. No, like, like it's not like, like she's no. in the audience right now and she can like feed us lines or nope. anything like that. Nope. Nope. Just an impenetrable fucking Fort Knox of a bit that is so compelling because Brett's really good at it. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the show to her and fast forward to the part so she can watch it. She's not even watching on Twitch. No! What the She's fuck? gonna laugh so hard. Text her. Text Good her to watch the her. fucking show. I mean, Come on, we got a thing here. J- Justin, what are we doing? I'm I'm not gonna lie. Uh I I'm I want to be angry beyond words, but he's literally just following our playbook for the last 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I find it very funny that you're frustrated that people are have inside jokes and, and are just sharing them between each other. Mm. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You're too insular, God damn it. That's this my is, bit. You're insular. This is the most... Oh, okay. This is the most... Digital insular. Like, honestly... <laughs> And this is saying something. Brian failing to juggle, Brett exploring this character, and Bryce continually continuing and failing to do Logan Roy is the most impotent this show has ever been. <laughs> <laughs> and that's some real fucking pantheon level hey, fucking hey Bryce? impotent. Yeah. Bryce. Hey, yeah, what, what's up, God damn it? Mission accomplished, <laughs> buddy. Sorry, what's up? What's up, God damn it? Bryce, please what tell me. What's up, God damn it? <laughs> Dash, Logan Roy. Yeah, what's up, <laughs> damn it? <laughs> I love your children, but what's up, God damn it? <laughs> you want to try to juggle one more time? Yeah. You, you, want, you want to get some redemption? I kind of do. There's your three balls. There we go. All right, here uh, we go. I'll tell you what. I'll juggle as long as you keep doing a Patreon plug. Okay. There we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Patreon.com. <laughs> You're cleaning that one up. <laughs> I almost told you where you could pay us money. Almost. God damn but it. to be totally honest, based on this show, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Uh Patreon.com slash great night is where you can keep us loud, live and independent and restore Bryce's Or if memory. Logan Roy would say it, Patreon.com slash God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> the crowdfunding. God damn it. Bullshit. What, what's up? What's up, Doc? God damn it. <laughs> I went to Albuquerque. The, the fucking plane went the wrong way. God damn it. 
<laughs> the plane went and the I wrong way. It took a wrong turn. It's me, Logan Roy. <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night is where you can get bonus episodes of this show. It's where you can pay for the uh, rug cleaning after Brian forgets <laughs> that we left three gigantic sticky balls of popcorn we on the as fucking far as a Patreon.com. There you go. Yeah, Patreon.com slash great night. And uh, spoiler alert for the show this will be the last uh, regular Excellent. version of uh, the show for a couple weeks because. I'm going to be in Europe, but uh, if you are a patron, you're going to get new episodes of The Bones mm -hmm. for every week, and if you're on the main feed, you're going to get classic episodes, the best episodes best of, of The Bones. Bones that you have not heard before. So you're still going to get some content, and if you are a patron... You're definitely going to get more content that is totally new. Mm -hmm. We're going to record it this weekend. It's going to be a good time. Patreon.com slash great night. Nailed it. Nailed it. Hey, good pitch Bryce, do we have a game? Hi, we do have a game. Hello, everybody. I found that there, you know, the Scripps National Spelling Bee? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, the actual spelling bee. Yes. Not, not our horseshit. Startup spelling bee. No. no, the one that I said. Not okay. that. Not that amateur horseshit in uh, Putnam County. Heron. Hey. Oh, now you're you. <laughs> <laughs> we broke him out of deep character, people. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I want. I I, I want to learn how to naturally laugh like a Jamaican air horn and go. <laughs> 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 I, I don't like know you if that it. would be my favorite guy or my least favorite guy. <laughs> I, it, like, would, it would really depend on the mood, but I would either fucking want to give that person all of my money or kill them. <laughs> so it turns out uh, that they've been... Oh, hello. It turns out that they've been uh, keeping a, uh, a list of the winning words of the Scripps uh, National Spelling Bee ever since it started in 1925. Now, when, when they say winning words, mm -hmm. these are the words most likely to be spelled correctly or least likely. These are the final words in that in that year's uh, the spelling. The decisive game. word. The decisive winning word that won the person the win. And exactly who was working well late in the lab one night to come up with this list that gave us such a fright? Uh, a list of words so complicated to spell. A list that caused a crooner to fail. Technically, it's you. Okay. <laughs> Just from the point what of view What did you of the do? Song. I did the match. <laughs> Come on. Why are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, I, okay. I did the improv <laughs> denial match. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. He did the no. I, 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 I said I, no. I should not have introduced a bit no. that I couldn't follow through on. Yeah. That, that's on me. No, what I'm going to have you do is uh, go back and forth. You're going to give me a year, and I'm going to give you the winning word of that year. You got to spell it for me. If you get it right, you will get a point. If not, uh, you won't get a point. It's easy. It's peasy. It's lemon squeezy. And, and this goes all the so basically we pick a year going back to 1925 mm -hmm. and then we go from there. Okay, that's right. All that's right, that's exactly right. Ready? Ready? Yep. Dustin, you ready? Yep. Are you are you strong speller, Jay? Uh, I don't know. We're gonna find out. <laughs> okay. Uh, Brett, will you, will you do me a favor and help me uh help help me uh, proctor this game a little bit today? I will definitely. Well, it says yes. Okay. <laughs> he says yes. He didn't talk into the microphone. Yep. By the way, that's pro move. Ask a question, let him answer off mic, and say, he says yes. Oh, yeah. And Sorry. Just I was... whatever you want. Yeah. I, cool. Yes. Okay, there you go. I just uh, need to get this thing closer. Uh, right. I see. All right. Uh, so I am going to start. Um, we're going to use a little text-to-speech buddy to say the word so that there's no interference, any, any, any things, uh, anything. So, um, Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Everyone's going to yeah. get their own, so uh, there's no stealing or anything. Uh, pick a year for me, my mans. Oh, I want 1979. You want 1979. Yeah, by the way, I've opened a Kinder Egg. Oh, Kinder Joy sweet cream topped with cocoa wafer bites. And it has a glow-in-the-dark toy. 
Oh. Go ahead. Give me my fucking word, you weasel. All right. Here it is. Your word is maculature. Maculature. Hold on. One Your word is maculature. Hold on one second. That's a very suspicious, artificially generated voice. One more time, my friend. Your word is maculature. That's just a natural voice for a robot to have. I don't wait. Are what? you trying to hunt down the the voice? Uh, like your like word is maculature. Or? I think I found the real killer. Who killed See, him? See, uh, I had a I had a good bit about the killer today. <laughs> that I couldn't even do. <laughs> I was going to do the Wendy Williams bit. You know what? Nobody knows who the real killer is. Go on, I Justin. Know. Maculature. Please spell it. Your word is maculature. I feel like I'm having a stroke. What the fuck is happening? I your word is maculature. This is a spelling bee. The game today is a spelling bee. The word that you have to spell, Justin, is maculature. maculature. Your word is maculature. A C U L A T U R E maculature. Your guess of maculature. Which hopefully will show up on screen in just a moment. Oh, I forgot it's set to like a nine second delay. Uh that answer is Uh, <laughs> the fuck's going on? Correct. Your awesomeness, it shines too bright. Bam. Hey, hey go. To I pulled up the wrong thing. That was on me. Did, Brett, you did exactly correct. Thank uh, you. <laughs> you spelled maculature, and that was absolutely correct. God damn it. God damn it. He's, He's Logan Roy. Roy. God damn it. I'm Logan Roy. Okay. This is good. This is a good kinder kinder egg. If I got this, I would be uh, thrilled if I were yeah, a I'm, I'm, child. I'm ready, AI robot. All right, that's a point for oh. Justin. Brian, I'm going to need you to give me a year. Pick a year. Wait, are we? is there an overarching mystery? Am I supposed to find a killer? Nobody knows. 1948. You know, 1948. All right. Uh, here we go. Let me put this into what, the computer. By the way, weird of me in the jet. That's a lame winning word. Way to dunk on kids in 1979. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucking idiots. Shit was easy. Uh, all right, Brian, here's your word. Yep. Your word is psychiatry. Let me hear that again. On, your word is psychiatry. Wait a minute. Bryce. Hi. What is that voice? <laughs> Play it again. <laughs> Your word is psychiatry. I last heard that voice <laughs> at a bar at the end of the docks. <laughs> Why, I'd remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Brian, answer the question before we get Your into this rich psychiatry. mystery that apparently lays before us. <laughs> Well, <sighs> unknown character who just <laughs> introduced himself. I do know it begins with a P and an S and a Y, followed by a CH. Wait, they, they all begin with that? I. So you're doing several different words? <laughs> no. Because you said it begins with. Yeah. But then you didn't say, you just kept saying words, so you, it seemed like they all began the word. <laughs> Are you spelling the word or are you beginning the word still? Sorry, here's my glow in the dark toy that I got in the Kinder Egg. <laughs> it appears to be some kind of dolphin. Modern day olive branch. Psychiatry. Oh, oh, hold on. It's a monster. It's a monster. What's the monster? He's got a little monster face. Look Is at it this an guy. automobile gangsta? He's look at this, look at this little devil. Yeah, look at him. Hey, from Sri Lanka? That's oh, a Bulbasaurus. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, he's, yeah, he's, 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 he's giving you the business. Anyway, guy. spell your word with whatever letter you're going to spell it with. You gave me 90 letters you want to spell it with. Pick one. In order. Your word is the psychiatry. Oh, that voice again. <laughs> oh, the smoke cleared from the pipes, and I saw her sitting at the end. Fingering a buoy knife and looking out amongst the casks. I knew she had something on her mind, and I knew she was going to give it to me. Anyway, Brian, how do you spell the word? 
I'm going to honor the show by answering the question. Sure. Uh, psychiatry. Uh-huh. P-S-Y-C-H-I-A-T-R-Y. Psychiatry. Well, if you didn't get it right, you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. Your answer is... Exactly right. 1948's word psychiatry. It's difficult, huh? Uh, just one more time. Logan Roy's catchphrase. God damn it! Uh, psychiatry is is bullshit. <laughs> Hells, God damn it! I'm today my cheesy poofs. God damn it! I mean, it's short. All right. <laughs> You know that his catchphrase is like it's pithy. I want cheesy poof. No, no, because he's candy, doing the. Candy. Now he's trying no, to get I, away I know, with this. I know. I know. He's <laughs> desperately yeah. trying to escape his shame by doing a Cartman <laughs> bit because he legitimately cannot remember the fucking catchphrase Swear of the God, person that he is no, portraying no, this is for not Halloween. Off the hook. This is God damn it a lot. <laughs> God he damn, damn, he God does, damn it. but that's not his catchphrase. Famously, it's not his catchphrase. <laughs> I'll figure it out one of these days. All right. Uh, Justin, we go to you now. Please pick a year that you would like to answer the spelling bee from. How, how far does it go back? Uh, back to 1925. 1925. All right. Easy peasy. This I'm shit's sure. going to be cat. Those people were dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin. I'm going to put this in the computer. Here Your you go. word is gladiolus. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Your word is gladiolus. Damn, girl. <laughs> I need a bitch with a gladiolus. <laughs> it's a flower. Okay, yeah. I, this is... Your word is gladiolus. Damn right yeah. it is. Yeah. Way I live my life. Your word that is, is my gladiolus. Word. I'm going to have to text you. Fill in as your code. G L A. D I O U S. Go oh, wait. Uh, I, I left an L out. I fucked you up. You know who you're writing with right now? A motherfucker who misspelled Gladiolus. Yeah. That's you. Uh, all right. That wait, is hold on. No, you screwed it up. You spelled it wrong. Did is that not how I spell? I thought I left out an L at the end. Yeah, and you did. You see how there's not an L at the end? I didn't say an L at the end. That's right. There's not an L at the end. So wait, didn't I get it right? This is not the correct answer. This is your guess. Oh, it's my guess. You see how it says guess? <laughs> he did the fuck. Oh no! He did the shit bag. Fuck. He did the fuck. It you, I don't know why. Oh, right. I'm sorry. He there's the two fuck. words on screen. He couldn't spell a word right. He did the fuck. I cornered him all night. He did. Ooh. What? What? Oh. what? What's what? Logan's Roy's Ooh. famous phrase? <laughs> Close enough for me. I'm on your page. Oh. Incorrect. There was an L at the end of it. Hey. <laughs> Turns hey. out. Ah. There's no point for Justin. Is that a thing that unnamed clown says? <laughs> huh? Dan says many things. Oh, my God. What's Dan's catchphrase? Take me back, Jessica. <laughs> Is this whole Seems bit a little about, sad. A, like, an ex-husband? Yes. Yeah. Uh, thanks for catching That's up. what, yeah. That was, <laughs> that was explained at the onset. We're all in a sugar rush right I, now. This isn't. Fun. I normally pay very little attention to that side of the room. Yeah. No. He's he's the ex-husband of uh, uh, his friend Jessica. Yeah. Uh, not a real ex-husband, right. but a running joke. Right. That she had an ex-husband that was a clown, but she broke up with him because she thought that his gigantic clown feet were real feet. Therefore, assuming that he had a gigantic dick. He apparently had a micro penis, and so this has been fed it out through this lore that we are now learning here uh, on the show ooh. all together. Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, I was talking to Jessica <laughs> late one night when we came up with a bit that would be an awful sight if you were to spool it out for a comedy show that has no anchors in our friendship. Fro. 
<laughs> to and fro. But now we're here, and so we are painted up. Oh. We decided to do this character stuff. And now I'm smoking a big cigar and pretending to be an awful guy. He did the... What's his name? Dan. He did the awful Dan. He you, did the you, Dan. You, <laughs> he did the awful Dan. He did the. <sighs> you do Dan. realize he's a divorced guy. He did the Dan, and I wish he'd stop. Oh, <laughs> you do realize that like driving a car would would have rhymed. And that's why I. Gra- doesn't matter. Bryce. You're criticizing my improv? <laughs> Unbelievable right now. I'm just saying, I'm just saying you set up a rhyme that would end with driving a car. <laughs> You're gonna so talk I about a rhyme? car and then was ready, and instead you were like, awful guy. <laughs> you know what? I take all of that back. I should never criticize <laughs> you live on stream. <laughs> no, you wanna know what? It's on me, dog. I saw me. All right, listen. I saw me. Okay. I'm taking it in. You saw me. As long as we're being real. Yeah. I got a franchise opportunity for you. Go. You have the right face. Okay. You know how to drive a car. Yeah. What if you yeah. were to become a little bit of a... Baby driver? Driving crooner. Oh. Not the... Is that the one with the... Uh... Edgar Wright. Fuck, I have to figure out how to make money on this bit. <laughs> no. Oh. Calico cut pants. Give him money. That's true. You Let's gotta just keep saying punchline. Yeah. 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 The, the shirts are so expensive because they're complicated. I should have remembered the L. Should have remembered the L. I and didn't. You, and you got I an fucked L. fucked it up. I took it. You want to know what? I didn't remember it because I have to live with it. <laughs> Ooh. All right, Brian, pick a year for me. Oh, give me 1969. Nice. Uh, sorry, 1969. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, Woodstock? <laughs> uh, Br- Brian and I determined on uh, the PX3 episode a couple weeks ago that every flashback should have the opening uh, <laughs> strands of that song of just like anyway it was 1969 <laughs> anyway it was 1972 <laughs> it was 1993 <laughs> I'm at Obama's inauguration <laughs> It was the bluest skies. Uh, it was the luckily, best. Luckily, uh, nobody the worst called us on our bluff, and nobody corrected us about quoting the wrong song for all of them. You said it was a smoke you, on the you water. You said it was smoke on the yeah, water, no. and it, I think it's what sunshine of your love. I've I think never it's heard sunshine of, of your love. I'd be fortunate, son. Uh, all right, Brian. Here's your word. Your word is interlocutory. Interlocutory. Your word is interlocutory. That's that dude that molests Picard. (laughs) Uh, uh, Attention USS Enterprise. (laughs) I am interlocutory. Yeah. (laughs) Resistance is interlocutory. Yeah. You about to get molested. (laughs) Our goal is to interlocutate with your (laughs) inculotors. Uh, interlocutory. Your mm. word is interlocutory. I remember her. <laughs> we were stationed off the coast of Ecuador when I looked upon her on a barge filled with trash. <laughs> I said, that's a voice I'll never forget. And I did until this moment. Anyway, Brian, interlocutory. I in interlocutory. I n t e r l o q 
U O R Y interlocutory. Ooh. The end. All right, that's your answer. We see it here on the screen. I think I got it wrong. Yeah, I, I think you fucked up. I think you fucked up bad, dude. I think you <laughs> fucked. No, this, I, I, I think you fucked it. I think you follow. I don't think Brian said a T at the end. Yeah, I think you I actually think spelled it accurately to what he said. We were looking for another spelling: I N T E R L O C U T O R Y. Yeah, that's, that's why I was saying. I think you fucked it because there ain't no Q. Ain't no, ain't no Q. In they didn't invent Q until like 1971. No, they invented Q in the very first episode of Star Trek: The Next Generation. Thank, hey. you, very, thank you very much. There you go. Get your nerd. Well, then why did Picard get molested? Answer that. Okay. Uh, uh, so that's no point to Brian. <laughs> Justin, pick a year for me, buddy. Uh, uh, 1991. <laughs> try all the time. Out. <laughs> okay. Next time we go to Dragon God, can we try to legit? Like, let's just let's just pitch the panel and see who picks it up. Did Q molest Picard? <laughs> and then we just have a serious conversation about it. It sounds All right. funny. All right. Serious conversation. All right. All right. <sighs> Fuck it. It's Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, it's not funny. The idea of. A grown man <laughs> getting molested, but by a by a but, by but a celestial if, god. If and I don't know who does it. Yeah, but if the card were to get molested, <laughs> god damn I think it would sound oh, no. a little something <laughs> like this. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Get away. <laughs> Stop it. You better. No! No! Stop it! No! No! All right. It got less funny. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Thank you to Q. Sorry to Q. Uh, here we go. Oh, wait, someone said a word. Uh, God damn it. God, God damn it. Don't molest people <laughs> on the podcast. I must be God drawn here. <laughs> no, uh, father. Just <laughs> there are four things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin, you said 1991. Here is your word. Your word is antipiratic. Antipiratic. A N T I P I R. A T I C anti piratic. All right, that's your answer here. Let's see if you got that right, Brian. Do you think you got it right? I don't think you did. I think he misheard it and thought it was anti piratic, like you're against pirates. I think he misheard interp interpire attic, like your constant colonization of other countries is inter piratic. Not now, man. We're not doing politics. Okay. Your word is antipiratic. All right. That's what the, the fuck? What is this, like, a uh, uh, noir voice? That's, uh, uh, Agma is the name of that voice. Your word is antipiratic. How much do you play that one to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> incorrect. <laughs> Anti-pyretic, A-N-T-I-P-Y-R-E-T-I-C. <laughs> All right, good game so far, huh? <laughs> what Thanks. a warning! <laughs> what a bailing! That's like what I would tell my children. It's like uh, you've been well behaved so far. <laughs> like, like, hey, uh, uh, mm. <laughs> ba da 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 da. All right, Brian, we're gonna go to you. Pick a year for me, please. 19 Wait, we get all the years going back to 1925? Yep. Yeah. 2022. Damn. Oh, that's right. That just happened. He wants all the shit that the people do now. This is post all the the, oh, the, the, the shit smart that people kids. did yeah. before. 
No, because remember, all the kids back then were eating Dumb. lead. They didn't know shit. They were eating lead all day. Mm. They were breathing lead. Yeah. They were being lead. If you want to be an American, you can eat lead. Lead is good for you. It makes you strong and gives you metal bones. Lead! It's the American secret. Shh! It's me, a communist! You better knock it off, Doug Communist, because these American boys and girls are eating lead. They'll punch you right in your privates. No! Not on my privates! Ah! That punch was delivered thanks to lead. American lead. <laughs> Brought to you by the United States Council for Lead. If so you or someone you know has eaten lead, give them a high five <laughs> and tell them that America says thanks. Buy lead at your local Woolworth. There was a brief moment I had so many questions, but they're all gone now. No. Oh. Maybe You're because welcome. I've been huffing all this lead. <laughs> that might be it. All right, uh, Brian, you've picked uh, you picked the year 2022. Yep. All right, here's your word. Play it. Your word is Morin. What? Your word is Morin. Morin. Fuck off. What's my word? Oh, damn it. Your word is Morin. M O U R N. Oh, you think it's Morn? Yep. And it's just a fucked up AI saying it? I mean, what would be more dipshitty? Me being wrong about this or Bryce getting Logan Roy's one catchphrase wrong the entire show? That's fair. God, God damn it, Kitty. God damn it. All right, your answer of M O U R N is. Incorrect. Oh. We were looking for M O O R H E N Morin. Yeah. What what is Morin? Can you define Morin? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Morin is a type of bird, uh, like a heron. Uh, Morin, sometimes called marsh hens, are medium-sized water birds in the rail family. Like Damn. a herring. Like I've heroin. Been, I've been around a couple marsh hens. Heroin. Not to be these marsh hens. Or more they get fucking wild. Yep. Right, Dan? That's right. <laughs> God damn it. It actually has become really a good I bit. I you. <laughs> like, I honestly Justin really tried to shit all over Brett's bit, but it does get no, better. No, I mean, no, because here's the problem. And I've said this from the very beginning. Ah. It's exceptional character work. <laughs> exceptional character work. I'm offended by the premise, <laughs> but I am in awe of the talent. Oh. <sighs> You want to, uh, hey, uh, uh, Brett, what's the score? <laughs> well, guys, the score is no, one. No, it's Dan. Hey, Dan, what's the score? I don't know, man. It's, <laughs> look, it's you got one point, you got one point. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should hire Dan. Jesus. He, he has Why are you, what are you doing? Questions. <laughs> what are oh you my doing? God. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm just you turning, you're turning Dan against Brett. That's actually, I couldn't imagine cruelty like that. A joking mutiny. A jokingly mutinous bit. I'm just Do you want to try to juggle the balls again? <laughs> I'm, I'm just ashamed. Where are the balls? I think he's the balls. The balls? It's fine. All right. All right. It's one to one. We got a few more here. Justin. You want to try the kinder? Oh. It's in there. There's that's another a, one in there. That sounds fun. I'll do that off camera. Good. Hey. Well, that's a good moment for the audience. To just <laughs> think of you eating a Kinder off camera. Oh, oh. Sorry, I'm on camera. I can't eat them right now. Oh, you just have to make oh, those noises? Sorry, I'm sorry. I love Kinder. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right, yeah. it's, you know it's fine. Uh, here we go. <laughs> no, Bryce, let it go. <laughs> no, I. Oh? That, that's all I have. Oh. No, I have nothing. I have nothing. I have nothing. Oh. I I, 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 don't oh. make me. Oh. Oh. What's up with your 
pants. Did you piss yourself? Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is. <laughs> lips next time gave you a condom kiss there <laughs> i know <laughs> fucking dental dam <laughs> <laughs> all right justin take a year for me yeah, yeah. uh 1933 1933 what do you think they were talking about in 1933 what were the words of the day probably <laughs> old old uh 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 name some of the things that are top of mind <laughs> Back in 1933. Probably old, old Adolf Hitler. <laughs> I was looking for like 10 seconds while I get this set up. All right. Yeah, well, okay, yeah. So Adolf Hitler uh, <laughs> was the Chancellor of Germany. <laughs> and, now, uh, now. We got to He initiated <laughs> World <laughs> War II. Well, I, was, sorry, I thought I was filling. No, yeah, we, okay, thank you very much for filling. Okay, you did great. Sorry. So I'm, I'm just trying to do my bit. And you did you did wonderful, sweetie. Trying to I'm trying to help Brian with improv. Mm -hmm. <laughs> trying uh, to fill time for you. You're doing you're, you're, you're doing the work, citizen. I did you catch the moment that Bryce said to you, "You're doing a wonderful job, sweetie"? Yeah, I was pretty great. It's yeah, no, because he remembers lines from the Kardashians, <laughs> just not Succession. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> the Christmas Carol song is not working. No, that's me. All right. <laughs> Justin, your word. Your word is torsion. Hmm. Torsion? Your word is torsion. I'm out here trying to torsion. Uh, torsion. Whoa. Oh, what? Well, I was I was gonna help just a little bit. Go ahead, Get, help just a little bit. All right, all right. I want you to think Give of the me word a little torsion. Help just a little bit. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Hamburger Hill, Hill three twenty five. Viet Cong. Mm -hmm. It's nineteen thirty three. None yep. of us have heard of any of those. Nope. But it's time to spell the word torsion. Yeah. I'm a kid in sixth grade. Here we go. Ba -da 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 -da. Torsion. T O R. <laughs> is this just a recording of someone's monitor what the fuck okay sorry i i was surprised at how fucking lazy the thing i found really lazy was <laughs> we called him doug because we didn't know his real name <laughs> Charlie was all around us. <laughs> the game was lame. All of a sudden, the spelling bee aroused. And the monster mash started playing so loud. It was the fuck. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I-O-N. Your torsion. word is torsion. Torsion. Uh, okay, uh, you got all those letters? No, Judge? I didn't. Eat. I'm sorry, can you... Can you P-O-R-I-O-N, torsion. Oh. 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 Uh, but it has entered, Judge. Justin, your answer is. Loser. Yeah. Loser. You forgot the S, buddy. T O R S I O N. Yeah. Torsion. Yeah. Mm. Brian, this left is all it, up to you, buddy. Off. Yeah. You get the last chance of the last word in the game. If you get this, you will get two points, and you will win the first ever final spelling bee thing challenge game here on Great and, Night and Games. And I'll, and I'll, so I'll juggle all three balls. Okay. You. All right. All right. You I pull this off. This old. If you this will write off, a lot of wrongs. It will. Yeah. And I'm trying to think of what year to go to, Ugh. including that ill-fated thing about 
Picard getting molested. I, I really wish I had that one back. Yeah, you want to? You, you... 2001, Bryce. Ah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> That's always a good sign. It could have been before. It could have been before. Does that. Ch- okay. <laughs> Let me uh, talk to the computer here. All right. Brian, your word for 2001 and for the game, if you get this right, yep. is... Freedom. Your word is suck, said the Niem. What? Your word is suck, said the Niem. Suck, said the Niem. Want that a suck, said the Niem. Yep. Say it again, robot. Your word is suck, said the Niem. Yeah. I met a bitch he used to... Your word is suck, said the neum. <laughs> suck, said the neum. Suck, said the neum. Suck, said the neum. Oh. Suck, said the neum. Well, that sounds different. Maybe it gave you an alternate spelling when I just put the word by itself. Can you use Suck, said the neum. Can Wait. you use it in a sentence? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, Advil is my suck, said the neum for a leave. It's just a fancy word for replacement. S U C C E S S I N E U M spells successinium. Successinium. All right, Judge, you got the you got that answer in? It, it in there. Here we go. Brian, your answer. And for the game. Oh. Look for S-U-C-C-E-D-A-N-E-U-M. Succedaneum. Looks what? like it's a sudden death word chosen by Dan. A year chosen by Dan. And the closest between Brian and I texting Bryce win. Yep, that, that works. Uh, Dan, Dan's looking over his his text right now. He's Quit. brain blasting. And he's, give me a minute. He's Quit. figuring out what's going on. He's totally doddling what, there. And what what does that word mean? Succedaneum, uh, a substitute, especially for a medicine or drug. Hey, uh, Bryce. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hello. Get your so, phone. Get your phone and uh, open up text messages. Let's go with 1980. 1980. Oh, lovely. That yeah. was the year of my. My love's birth. Oh, my God. God damn it. All right. Uh, uh, there you go, Mr. Confetti. All right, I'm going to put the word here into the computer. Who's You're... Mr. Confetti? Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, Mr. Dan. Thank you. Uh, which is also a, Doc, not a horse. Confetti. All right. Your word, gentlemen, to type and text to me. Don't use your autocorrect. Your auto spell is. Haluka Bray. Ooh. Say Haluka it again. Haluka Bray. One more time when I'm not talking. Haluka Bray. Haluka Bray. Use it in a sentence. Uh, yeah, let me do that. Uh, okay, here, I'll, I'll do this. Um, the definition of a Luca Braid is to work out her express by studious effort. Oh, there we go. Okay. They are now texting me their answers here. We are... Cooking. I'm sent. I'm sent. All right, I've gotten. Oh, I've gotten. I've gotten one for Justin. Uh, Brian's taking longer to do it because he's also doing the driving crooner bit, so we can only type with one hand. Uh, by the way, don't text and drive in general. Don't text and drive. Yeah, like despite the fact that drive Brian is doing the driving crooner bit while texting, please. Okay. Listeners, don't do that. Don't, don't text and drive, and especially don't drink while you do so. Yes. Classic bit. Another classic internal bit. bit. Another great classic bit. Love it. All right, we've got your answers here. Justin, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to spell out how you spelled this word. Uh, the word, again, is... Luca Bray. Oh, wait. A whole word? Luca Bray. Luca Bray. Uh, truly uh, an impossible word. He sleeps with the fishes. Justin, you spelled uh, elucubrate, L-U-C-A-B-R-E-I-T. How do you feel yep. about spelling, buddy? 
uh, like dog shit. I have no idea what it is. I've never heard of it in my entire life. And so I went with Luca Brazzi and, and Brie it kind of in, in, in an almost German way. Like it's some kind of Italian-German cross fusion, which is always dangerous <laughs> historically. Mm-hmm. That's right. When you're right, you're right. That's just data. That's just history. Yeah. Don't get them together. Don't be doomed to repeat start it. Start mixing it up. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, well, that's how Justin spent, spelt it. Brian, uh, would you like to let everyone know how you yeah, spell? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I, 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 yes, we can focus on the spelling of the word. Not the whole thing. But I think we should focus on what the word means. And I would say of the two of us, whoever wrote a word that is closer to the spirit of what this word means yeah. should be awarded the winner. It's not a spirit bee. It's a spelling bee. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. a real Luca Bray saying. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, uh, here, I'll help you out. You spelled elucubrate as B-R-Y-C-E. <laughs> I just assumed this is a word that means something great, and I feel like Bryce embodies all that's great uh, because Brian. he knows so many things, including Logan Roy's catchphrase. God, God damn it! <laughs> I'm Logan Roy. God damn it! I live in New York, and I'm an old man. I almost died multiple times, and then I did die one time. Spoiler, Jesus. Everyone dies. Jesus. It's life. I love, I not love, in season I love four. your need to explain that he only died one time. <laughs> and we don't, we don't trick you out with this shit. All right. Yeah. God damn it. Uh, all right. Uh, put this into the computer, and the computer has said... Justin's answer is... This ain't got nothing to do with piss. We were looking for L U C U B R A T E, elucubrate. What, elucubrate. what does the word mean, B R Y C E? The definition of elucubrate is to work out or express by studious effort. Well, actually, that sounds like I the way would say, I oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Sure. Rice Go ahead. has worked out and he has expressed what was the rest of it? Whatever, it sounded awesome. Bryce does Luca that. Bray. It's to work out or express by street, studious, studious effort. effort. Okay. Do you want to steal it? I mean, if I want to steal it, I was awarded it by the machine, by science. Are you are you filing an appeal? Are you filing to the international? Are you sporting anti-science? Field? No, I, 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 I'm just saying. I are really you gonna am- go get there under, on your. On your Twitter spaces and talk about how science is wrong. Well, when you actually look at the facts, Sturdy. they they point to another direction. We stop dreaming, God damn it! <laughs> okay. We're all, all right. here in a Twitter spaces, and we're just saying you we need to can science. I don't know where science begins and where lies end. <laughs> I'm a I'm a I'm an account. I'm truth. 419 on Twitter. (laughs) Sorry, it's X now. And I'm very proud to say that it's X. I have a blue check. And I am on Twitter spaces and I'm letting you know that this is no longer your world. I'm taking it over because science no longer rules. X I like Twitter. I'm like the modern rogue. <laughs> God damn it. I'm right. the core oh, demo. Fastest I, way right. to shut me down. Thank <laughs> you. All right. Uh, uh, th- Bryce, what does that word mean? And why is it not applying to you? Uh, for the third time, it means to work out or express by studious effort, given right. that we set the prompt to spell the word most correctly, Justin very clearly wins Got the game. closer. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then the game Justin right. If you've got an idea for a game, send it into our email, gmail, uh, uh, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes. Wherever you're enjoying this fine program, that's where it is. Brett, uh, give us the score. The score is Brian had one point. I am. 
Justin had three points. Hey! Hey! Wait, wait, that was only two. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, yeah. That, it doesn't matter. Uh, congratulations to Justin Robert. Hey. One more. Hey. Ah. Sorry, I, I was desperately trying to tee up Bryce for an explanation of what was sneaky about the words. Nothing was sneaky about the words. You literally immediately apologized for how odd the AI speaking of the words were. Yeah, because it's a new AI text to speech thing. I've, okay, but the first was one was no clearly you. Bit. Oh. oh, none of none of the voices were me, or any, I don't make this program. This is a I. This is a wait. Website. Hold on, wait. No, website. Bryce. I'm not on. fooled. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, also, have you considered you're lying to us? And <laughs> as Brian suspects, there's a whole overarching element to this game that you're hiding from us. That and that does sound like something I would have done, especially in the recent history. That is not what we've done today. No, it's so just a normal. Sure. It's just a normal game that I took. Do you internet. understand that the paranoia that you are now experiencing is because <laughs> you've played these meta games in the past? Oh, I'm not worried. I'm having a great. This is great content. I'm loving this. Okay, you're loving this. Oh, I'm into this. I love. So I should be letting Brian go and not shutting it down. Well, I mean, you you see, you can see the clock, my man. You you, you know what we're doing. Go, Brian. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? My goodness, I, uh, if you. If you're willing to pinky promise that 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 you're not messing with us with the AI voices, then no, oh, it's 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 it really isn't. There's not. Wait, but no, no, no. But what thing. about what you told me before the show? I didn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking? You cast like me? No, there's nothing cra crazy. No, about this but you game. said no, no, no. But no, we you, got come one. on, don't do that to me. There's you no. said we got one for Brian. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> you mother no Wait, I didn't. no but but all right so <laughs> so aside from that or including that don't gaslight me that's not me i there's is that aside normal. or because you're like like oh my god it's like, a we very got lazy this. game it's this as lazy one, as my outfit one. okay oh, so when you were recording that's not part of this i didn't record anything okay <laughs> god do it not for I mean, I'm recording the for show. Tonight or for in general? Just really in general. I don't have an okay. AI voice. So when, so when you're uh, uh, real quick, Justin. Yeah. Uh, Dave, what did we learn today? His name is Dave. Dan. Who the fuck is Dave? He's not worthy of you his Dan. name being remembered. My name's Dan. This is what we've learned. His name is Robert Paulson. Sure. Oh, fuck. Learned three things. One, we've learned that. Oh, Every day, I need to try again. Two, <laughs> there is a way to change my feet. It just takes willpower. And three, Jessica, take me back. Take me back, Jessica. To turn my day around. You know, a girl that's a hero. Justin. Yeah. Oh, it's been a great Still a night. great night. A gray, a, a, Shine on, you crazy night. diamonds. And Bryce, your secret's safe with me. Week. Yeah. There's no, there's not another thing. Day, <laughs> also, screw you, just Dan. Yeah, screw you, Dan. Never ends the moment you walk away. Classic Classic Dan. CalicoCupPants.com. <laughs> ain't got nothing to do with piss. <laughs> Enjoyed this broker. <laughs> <laughs>